Congratulations on making it to the end of the 2020 school year. I'd like to begin by thanking each and every one of you for the amazing amount of work that you've put forward as a staff to make sure that our students had every educational opportunity as we went into the end of this school year. So again, thank you for the work that you've done above and beyond. I know people are at home taking care of their own families, schooling their own children, uh, and you still all managed to get it done for our students at El Cajon Valley, so thank you. Second, this is my first chance to talk with all of you since learning that I would be the next principal at El Cajon Valley High School. And I want to begin by, by saying thank you to every single one of you. I know that I would not be in this position were it not for the tremendous amount of support that I received from this staff. Uh, I'm humbled by that and very grateful that you all showed that much faith in me. So I appreciate that, thank you. We have a few goodbyes to say. Four people leaving El Cajon Valley High School this year. First, Tiffany Soria leaving our science department. She was with us for a year, uh, made a great impact on students' lives and was well liked by everyone. So we'll definitely miss Tiffany who is moving on to Indiana. We're also losing Brenda Nerva from our science department, an amazing teacher with a long history here at El Cajon Valley High School, does a tremendous amount to increase student outcomes here at El Cajon Valley High School and is definitely gonna be missed. Also, we're losing Mr. Brave himself, Luke Fitzgerald, who is uh, headed off to retirement. So congratulations on reaching that milestone, Luke. Super proud of you, super happy for you. And we'll look forward to seeing you again in the fall when you're back here on Friday nights. And lastly, Kim Patterson. Kim has been the principal here at El Cajon Valley High School for five years. So I wanna take this opportunity to say thank you to Kim for the amount of work uh, and time that she's put into making El Cajon Valley High School a great place. And good luck in your future endeavors. We'll miss you. As we head into the 2021 school year, we have more questions than we have answers. Unfortunately, at this point, I can't tell you what school is gonna look like next year. But know that as I get those answers, I'll be sending them out to all of you via email or through your department chairs for you all to discuss. But I do know this about the 2021 school year. There's not a group of people that I would rather be facing tough times with than the staff at El Cajon Valley High School. I know you all have been through tough times in the past and are very capable of weathering the storm that's in front of us as we move forward into the 2021 school year. I look forward to a time, hopefully this fall, when we can all come together and talk about the future of El Cajon Valley High School. I look forward to a time where we can discuss a vision for the next decade of El Cajon Valley. And a time for all of us to come together to renew our commitment to both ourselves and to each other to make this the greatest high school it can be. Thank you and have a wonderful summer.